Hey kids, thanks for joining King Parentheses and me today. We are learning more about multiplication, specifically what we call the associative property of multiplication. We would like to get your help. Will you help us? Great, let's get started. The associative property of multiplication says when you are multiplying several digits, you can regroup or reorder the numbers and the product will stay the same. Here we have an example of this concept. 3 times 4 times 2. We are multiplying three digits, but where should we start? We could start with 3 times 4, or we could start with 4 times 2. The associative property tells us it does not matter which way we do it. We can choose which group of numbers we start to multiply. That is kind of cool. I want to start by multiplying 4 and 2. This gives us 8. Now we have 8 multiplied by 3. What is 8 multiplied by 3? The answer is 24. Great job! But now I want to try the other way, so let's clear the board. We will start with 3 multiplied by 4, which gives us 12. Now all we have left to do is multiply 12 by 2. 12 times 2 is 24. We got the same answer regardless of which numbers we started multiplying together. This is awesome! Let's look at another problem and see what we can do. This time our friend King Parentheses is helping us group the numbers by putting a parentheses around two of the numbers. We can see that we have the same problem on both sides of the board, but with the parentheses grouping different sets of numbers. We learned before that both of these problems should come out to be the same answer or product. King Parentheses just told me that I forgot to tell you something important. Whenever you do a math problem that has parentheses, you need to do what's inside first. Remember, the King Parentheses comes first in math problems. So when we work this problem, we need to multiply the numbers in the parentheses first even though the answers will still be the same. Thank you, King Parentheses. We will start with the problem on the left. Remember, the king goes first, so let's multiply 2 by 2. We get 4, and now all we have left to do is multiply 4 by the last number, which is 5. What is 4 times 5? If you said 20, you are correct. Now we can do the problem on the right side of the board, and if the associative property of multiplication is right, we should get the same answer. To start, we remember the king goes first, so we multiply the numbers in the parentheses, 2 times 5. The answer to that is 10. Now all that is left is 10 multiplied by 2. What is 10 times 2? 20. Great job, kids! We can see that both problems give us the same answer no matter how we group the numbers. This is amazing stuff! Thank you so much for joining us today. The king and I have to get going, so we will see you later. King, stop making so much noise! <sighs> okay guys, you have a few options here. You can click the video on my right, or on my left to watch more awesome stuff. If you want to subscribe, click the big red subscribe button below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose,